Edgar's Mission. Here we are. Okay, here we are at Edgar's Mission Animal Sanctuary in Victoria. We're going to go meet the animals. Go on. Oh, this must be in memory of Edgar the pig. 2003 to 2010. Oh, he's got wings because he must be an angel now. That makes sense that Edgar's mission is named after Edgar the pig. Because look, there's all these references. There's, that must be Edgar. That must be who the sanctuary is in memory of. And maybe he was the original rescue. We should go ask. Okay, I guess we just, I guess I'm doing this. Everyone disinfect your boots. <laughs> if we could live happy and healthy lives without harming others why wouldn't we followed by a pig <laughs> i love you <laughs> look at him is that kelly oh my god that's kelly from south australia you're are you from south australia yeah kelly yeah, yeah how are you going good going? to see you, you too. I was just asking at the front, is Edgar the pig that this yeah. place is named after? Yeah, uh. so it started when Pam rescued him. Pam teamed up with Animals Australia as part of their Save Babe campaign. Yeah. They wanted to get a photo of James Cromwell on the steps of Parliament House with a piggy. Yeah. And they did, and that piggy was Edgar, which then led to the start of Edgar's mission. Um, wow, <laughs> like a fantasy playground for animals, it's amazing. Where should we start? Can we do like the whole round yeah, trip tour? Yeah, I'll grab some wheat bix and chicken food. We can start in Chicken Village. Okay, yeah, like, yeah. And then kind of walk around the whole sanctuary. Chicken Village? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, look at his hairstyle. Okay, we're in the chicken wonderland called Chicken Village. And there's Rod Stewart. Oh, look at your legs. Hey kids. Look at your hair. Oh, better not. <laughs> they might peck my finger. So the brown hens, these ones, they're called eyes of brown. So okay. they're typically rescued from commercial egg laying uh, Yeah. Check out, they got little houses. Oh, they got little, they got a little house here. Yeah. A little wind chime. This is so good. <laughs> How good, eh? Look, they've got their own little park bench. <laughs> a little chicken bench. <laughs> Hello mate, hello. The eye in kindness, huh? what a good idea. <laughs> oh my god, is that a tur what, turkeys? Oh, oh, oh. oh, hello. What's your name? Ballerina. Okay, ballerina. A couple of years is a long time for them to, to survive after something yeah, like that, yeah? they're actually doing really, really well. Wow. Hello. So they cut their nails so they don't fight in captivity? Yes. Are you guys used to people? They're, they're used to having visitors and stuff like that, hey? Yeah, so he's fluffing himself up now to impress you. Oh. So he won't steal his girlfriend. I, I don't want that. I, I've, I've got a girlfriend, that's fine. <laughs> wow, they're so amazing. I love turkeys. And their ears are so amazing where they've got the little fur on their little ears. <laughs> so cute. Oh, hello, darling. Oh, you're lucky to be here in the one, animal wonderland. Here. Come say hi to Eddie. Hello, it's Eddie. Nice to meet you. Oh, my God. <laughs> hello. Is it okay to get down like he's not? Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. So he's hey, mate. To feed in the leaves on the trees. Oh, so right. what is that? So what he'll is? Look at you, and then he'll look at the tree. <laughs> do you do you want a leaf? Am I allowed to give yeah. him a leaf? You want a leaf? Oh, steady Eddie. <laughs> wow. He communicated with me. Are you communicating with me? What What do you want? See how smart animals are. Hey. Here you go, mate. Oh. Wow. And he's got a little he's got a little cast on his foot. Yes. He's one of our special needs goats, so he's free to wander around oh, the sanctuary. Because he's kind of like trying to likes. get his balance and that's yeah. why he's steady Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> oh adorable. Here, have more leaves. <laughs> wow, he's the best. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. She does alright with three legs cruising around. Yeah, yeah. Really well. Oh dear, you like scratches. <laughs> Oh, you're beautiful, Snow White. Where's the dwarfs? <laughs> Where's the seven dwarfs? In the chicken village? <laughs> Eddie's going to come for the tour. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie's going to come and hang. Come on, Eddie. Come show us around your pad. Hello, Leo. How are you? He was actually born on the back of a livestock truck. Oh, really? And slipped out, and someone found him on the side of the road. 
How long ago? Uh, How he, old is he? Uh, he's been about six months old now, I think. Oh dear, Leo's on your bubbles. Leo, you're a hero. Oh, shaky, shaky. Is a rooster? Is this a rooster? See how, um, he's a little bit sporadic, isn't he? A few months ago, the RSPCA shut down a cockfighting ring in, okay. right here in Victoria. Okay. And we were able to offer homes to seven of okay. the roosters. So that's why he looks a bit different. So he's been bred to fight. Yeah, um, and he's more sporadic and he seems more a bit more intense and aggravated. Yeah, because he, he's been bred to, to, to fight, to fight other, roosters. other roosters. He's also had his comb and his wattle cut off with razor blades. Horrible. And you can see how different he looks to the other chickens yeah. in Chicken Village. So we've had a lot of problems trying to... Integrate. Yeah, integrate them with the other chickens. Yeah because of the fighting. Um, oh. So he's just not feeling well at the moment. That's why he's here. Um, and we've got another area where the other roosters are too. And okay. one of them has his very own girlfriend now. Oh, like wow. Chicken Village. Oh, cool. So, <laughs> so, so they just need to get back to normal yeah, and... settle down a bit and, yeah. and, and know some love and kindness. Oh, dear. That's horrible, the, the cock fighting. It's disgusting. I'm not yeah. going to do that. Settle down. Got a girlfriend now. Girlfriend. <laughs> Survive the war. <laughs> <Living> the family <laughs> <life>. <laughs> Out He's out the gang life. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds a bit like me. He sounds a bit like me. Okay, so where are we now? This is our paddock of special needs sheep. Special needs sheep. So everybody in here just requires a bit of extra ongoing care. Okay, I can see little casts on, cast on their feet. And yeah, we have a couple of sheep with prosthetics and boots to help them get around. Oh. But we'll see who wants to come over and say hi. Well, they're all looking over at me, <laughs> curious. Look at this one here. Who's this here looking at? Phase, this is precious. <laughs> precious is like, what's up? What are you doing here? Oh my God. Hello. <laughs> Hello! Hello guys! Oh, this feels really... You guys are living it up in here. So when they go to sleep, they have their little prosthetics taken off. Yeah. And then when they wake up, they're like, they wait for you guys to put their little feet back on and then they cruise. Oh, these are awesome. <laughs> so good. Oh my dear lord, have mercy. <laughs> Look how adorable. Okay, so the guys here at the sanctuary put big teddies in the uh, pens here with the, the baby so they have something extra to snuggle up to. That's a good idea. I need one of these. All right, you got a big teddy bear in here to keep you warm. <laughs> Very proud, Mum. Hello. Hello, sheep said hello. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Hey go, mate. How you going? Have a little sniff. Have a little sniff. <laughs> hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> okay. So I'll give you a wheat pick. Okay. So if you just hold it horizontally. Horizontally. Like this, and then with your hand just slightly over the fence, yeah. he'll come up and do the rest. Hansel, you down? Oh dear. Here he comes. Hello, Hansel. Oh, the big tongue pokes out. Here, mate. Here you go. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Is that yummy? Did you like that, Hansel? It's like a big puppy dog. Where's Hansel from? So Hansel was rescued from a dairy farm. Okay. He was just a week old. Okay. Uh, and he's 10 years old now. Wow. Because, uh, the boys in the dairy farm usually, they're slaughtered really young, aren't they? They're usually killed in their first week of life. Yeah. It's wasted. Yep. So he was very lucky. He was very, very lucky. We also have a, a few other cows in here too. Oh, I think she Clarabelle's coming over to say hi. Um, so Clarabelle, she's the lighter coloured jersey cow. Just okay. Behind. Yep. Hansel. And she was on a dairy farm for five years. Every year she'd given birth to a baby and okay. then had the baby taken away from her so her milk could be used for human consumption. Yeah. And she ended up here because she was actually marked for slaughter at the time, but pregnant. Okay. And we were able to arrange her rescue here. And so we knew she was pregnant, but didn't know when she was uh, going to give birth. And she was actually in this paddock here. So it had the bushland along the side. And she was always really friendly to start off with, would come over to the fence to say hi and for food and pats and cuddles. And then one day she was slightly more withdrawn. Yep. 
and one of her teats had dropped and we're like and she kept looking back to the forest area and we're like oh she's had her baby but couldn't find her baby anywhere oh, wow. and she'd gone and hidden her baby in the forest area ah. because she'd remembered every year on the dairy farm they'd taken her baby away from yeah. her so she kind of did everything she could to protect her wow. and then she did that for about three months so she, every time we went and found her baby she'd go and make her stand up and move her somewhere else and she did this for three months till she realized you guys aren't going to hurt my baby anymore yeah. and kind of proudly brought her out to show the world and her baby is named Valentine because we found her on Valentine's Day. And her baby is this big baby <laughs> in the paddock here. Oh, the bronze sort yeah, of brown. Yeah, always still with her mum, which wow. is, I think what it's a such beautiful a beautiful story. story that really highlights that, that bond. That it's yeah. not just us that have that with our children, it's all animals as well. Yeah. And so beautiful that Clarabelle gets to spend the rest of her life with one of her babies. Oh, uh, because like I'm doing a campaign at the moment and People are saying, well, they don't understand their, their, their calf has been taken. You can't call it kidnapped. They don't know. And this just proves that after, you know, five abductions of her calf, she's just, you know, you're going to take this one away. I'm going to hide this yeah, baby. She yeah. So, like, this just disproves all of this nonsense that they don't understand. I mean, the dairy industry is just uh, so traumatic for mothers and for everyone involved. It's so horrible. But to have a beautiful story like this, it's just, it's wonderful. So Babe was born completely blind. Oh and dear. Sophie is her friend on the left, and Sophie is her seeing eye cow. So oh. like we went Ray Ray and Lambini. Yeah. Uh, Lambini wears the collar with the bell. So Sophie wears a little collar on it with the bell. So Babe can always hear where she is and follow around by the sound. Wow, Babe, you got your own seeing eye cow. <laughs> helping you out. So they're the best of friends. And Sophie loves to groom Babe, so she loves licking her face. Oh, so you're looking after each other. Yeah. Thanks for helping out Babe. <laughs> Thanks for helping out Babe. You're a true friend. <laughs>